Hello, and thank you for joining another edition of It's About Money. I'm Nanette Nokan, and today we have a very special program. Our guests are Paul and Christine Nablo, and they are at the studio, Nablo Studios, at Halsted Street. And I uh, want to welcome you to our show, Paul and Christine. Hey, Nanette. Happy, Hi. happy Hi. to be here. Thanks. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. So you're at the studio, and we want to hear about your art. We want to hear about, you know, my show, it's about money. So I want to hear how artists make it in an economy that goes up and down. And uh, But talk to me about your projects right now and um, what you're doing at the studio. Sure. Well, we're, we're always involved with a lot of different things. We built a lot of work on speculation. And then we wait for the right person to see that piece and then sell it. And then we work on a lot of commission pieces. And those, you know, when you do the design and people commission you to build a gate, a bench, a lamp, you know, a, a number of different things. And so it's always a, a balance of those two things, commission work and work that we build on speculation and we wait to sell. Right. And it's always been like that. That's great. And we're making a gate right now for somebody that um, we're trying to, we had made it on speculation, then it's sold, and now we're fitting it to fit her space. So, um, you know, it's, oh, there's always something going on. Sure. And sometimes people don't have an idea of what they want, and they see something, and it's nice that you can right. arrange right. it in a way that fits their needs. That's yes, great. and that, that's why I like building work on speculation because that way it allows people to see different things and they see something you built on speculation and then they'll commission something similar, maybe a little different, but you know, it, it does help people open up people's minds to different things. Right, right. So I first want okay. all that money. I'm sorry, Nanette. I mean, I, I, I know that you were wondering about money. We have to front that money. Uh, when, we're, when we start, we have to buy all the materials and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. when we do get a commission piece, it's always such a huge relief because, you know, then they give you half down. Sure. Yes. And that's great because, yeah, you're right, the materials are not, uh, plus utilities, right? When you have all that welding equipment, it can mm -hmm. rack up the utility bill. <laughs> yes. and just even recently in the last couple of months or even more, the price of the raw materials have really gone up quite a bit, especially with the stainless steel and the mild steel. In some cases, the, it seems like the prices have tripled in the last little bit. You know, they'll come back down, but it's just, it is a, it's a pretty big cost when you're building the work on speculation. Yeah. And sometimes it takes a year before that piece may sell. So you might have some in inventory that is holding yeah. the capital. So if we, if, if we see something, uh, a deal on steel, we'll get it. Or if somebody's selling steel, we'll, we'll go out and take advantage take of it, advantage anything of it. like that. Any well, well, a lot of times, um, you know, artists will design something and then make it. Uh, us, quite often, will go to Klein Steel or Rochester Steel and um, see what they have um because yeah. sometimes they'll have you know somebody drops from somebody surplus surplus material and then we're like okay look at look at what we got well what what can we make out of this yeah. so that that ha happens a lot <laughs> oh cool so it's really uh, recycling something that made a surplus from something that you make art out of yeah. yeah, and you get a little better price on the material and it kind of makes a little more sense. And sometimes just seeing that becomes an inspiration too. You know, you'll see a certain piece of steel that's cut a certain way and it'll inspire you in, to design something out of that. Yeah, I should I should have grabbed, do you want me to grab a heart so you can Oh, see sure. Me? Yes, I was going to say, uh, the, I've known you for about for your benches. That's how I initially discovered your art. And then, of course, the hearts, which uh, we see a lot in town, and beautiful. Um, yes, great. Like this is a this is a piece made out of a lot of small pieces of material, um, with the with the painted finish on it. But we really don't let anything go to waste, and that's where like the hearts. It's like we take advantage of all the other little pieces that another job might generate, and we incorporate them into a, another piece. Oh, lovely. That's beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. I love that uh, everything can be utilized. So tell me about the art behind you. 
So this this actually uh, it's laser cut. It's yeah, it's laser cut, and it it's the idea of murmuration. So you know, birds fly in these beautiful uh, patterns. So uh, the the positive birds are going to be used in this sculpture, but also, yeah, here's that's, a that's a positive bird. Thank you. Thank you for sharing what a positive <laughs> is. I love it. <laughs> um, and these are all the negatives. And that's a negative. So, so this, we're using this design for a few things. First, um, it, it, it's going to be a sculpture. Um, there'll be birds flying or positive birds flying around it and then there'll be other other um pieces round circular uh de design elements to hold in those those positive birds and um the other thing that we're using this for is uh for pergolas that have a flat roof so the, the this would be the roof and there'd be you know, the post. Shadows. So the birds, you look up and you see the sky with the bird shapes. And then the shadows of the birds will get projected on the on the floor, on the ground, you know, or tile or whatever your basis. So that's it's a new, neat. It's a new piece. Yeah, it's a new piece. That's, that's pretty new. <laughs> I love that. I love that. So help me with like the beginning. How did you get into metal art? How did you uh, train yourself? What did you do to, to get to what you do for a living? Sure, I came to Rochester in 1983 to go to the Rochester Institute of Technology, the School of American Crafts. And I guess in high school, I really took a jewelry class, loved it, knew that I liked to work with metals at that point, at that young age. Um, that's what brought me to Rochester and then after graduating, I worked for Albert Paley for 10 years, and that was really, you know, obviously, you know, a lot of training and, you know, really refined my skills, and he's such an inspiration. Um, and then, you know, so that was a lot of training, you know, 14 years between Albert's and, you know, the School for American Crafts. And at that point, I decided, you know what, I really love doing this. I want to have a studio of my own and just develop my style and develop my art. And that was really in 1997. And then, of course, shortly after that, I met Christine. And, you know, Christine's quite the artist. And we just decided to uh, collaborate on a lot of different projects, a lot of her stainless steel gates now just these beautiful pieces so now it's like a real collaboration of both of our arts made in one studio and that's kind of where we are today the, even the hearts are really an idea that christine developed you know 15 years ago the first one i think is at rochester general beautiful piece and uh, you know we've we're continuing making them not as much as we used to. Now we're kind of the stainless steel gates are kind of our new direction. And this piece behind us is kind of a, a start to a new direction. Um, but things are always developing. You know, things are always kind of changing. Things are always kind of in flux. You never know kind of what direction you're going to go into next. And that's what I really like about making art. The unknown of where something might take you. You know, you start here and you don't really know where you're going to go with it. And it's that direction that's nice. Yeah, that creative process. Financially, it's a different story. We want to know where we're going financially. <laughs> we're, we're lucky, we're lucky to, yeah. you know, there's yeah. Rochester, it's a great community. Yeah. A lot of people that really support what we do, yeah. thank God. And uh, yeah. love, but you know, it, it is what Christine's saying. It's like it really is. It's that part of the unknown is always tough too. It's like yeah. being an artist, being a uh, self-employed artist. It is tough. You know, it's like I'm not saying it's tough, tough, but it's like you're the challenge of keeping money coming in at a nice, constant flow. And so it's a challenge, but it's a challenge I love. Yeah, and he's he he's being humble. His his craft is he's such a great craftsman that people come and they want him to to make 
you know, art for them. So, I mean, we're, we're pretty lucky that, yeah. um, that people like both of our stuff Definitely. and, yeah. um, and I, he does, he makes a lot of the stuff that I'll design, but he, he's so, he'll bring it to a whole nother level. So it's, it's a nice combination. I mean, we've been doing this oh, for, for a long time. Yeah. Long time. And it truly is a labor of love. Yeah. You know, sometimes, and I know it, it's, and I mean, believe me, we love money, you know, you know, it's, but we never, I didn't enter art to be, you know, you know, be successful financially, which is much as I love, but I entered it because of my passion for the material, yes. for my passion to create. Mm -hmm. But boy, there again, it's, it's a balance where you need both. Yeah. You know, you need to, you, you need financial security if you want to keep doing what you love to do. Yeah. So it really is, it's always a challenge. Then that's saying a challenge in a bad way, but just a challenge that boy, everything has to work a certain way for things to keep going forward. In your studio, you also have been creative with that because you've created a studio that's a beautiful space. Your art is exhibited there, but you also hold events there, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we, we it worked out, um, we we have a couple of uh, people that sell our artwork, but it's always easier if we sell it ourselves. So we were fortunate enough to buy a, a great building and had great guidance. Thank you. Um, and buying the building, which was a really scary thing. Yeah. And um, so it would be tough renting, you know, oh I, I look back at the last five or 10 years, if we didn't own our infrastructure, it would be tough. Right. You know, like you could see it would be a whole different thing. Yeah. Yeah. Great. That's wonderful. So I, I love that you're creative and you're right. You created a regular paycheck for something that is more exciting, something that makes people happy. I mean, a regular paycheck may not, would be nice for the bank account, but on the other hand, yeah. that can be a little bit less, um, Fun, if you will. <laughs> so, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, you have to have some nerves of steel. But, but if you really are focused on, you have to have a happy medium of what people want and what you want to do. You, you have to do both. And artists tend to do what they want to do and not what people want. So you got to, you got to have both. You have to have both. Yeah. So, um, the balance which, of art and business, I guess. Yeah. Sure, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. So my last question for you is, how do you keep it together? I mean, you're pretty much almost 24-7. You, you are together as a couple. You are together in your artwork. How do you make it work? Oh, well, that's all Christine. He <laughs> <laughs> wakes up. What are we going to eat? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. um, it takes the right couple. Yeah, we're, yeah. We're, we're, we're blessed to have met each other yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. we're lucky and but, i don't know how but i just know that i'm fortunate to have christine <laughs> in my life <laughs> no you know what we work well together yeah, a lot yeah. of couples uh don't work well together they uh, they're better off not being and together part, but yeah. we we come uh, his faults are my strengths and my faults are his strengths yeah. so we're we are we have we have you know after 23 years or whatever, 24 years, of, yeah. been married 21 years, um, we worked out um, you know, a good way for us to, to yeah, yeah. Well, work yeah. together. That's great. What, what a fun conversation. Thank you, you two. I, you know, I'm a big fan. And oh, I know. He's, a, he's a lucky guy. <laughs> and I, I thank you for, for sharing the financial workings of artists. You know, it is a tough life, if you will. But uh, on the other hand, your good work, I hope you're blessed, continue to be blessed by patrons who enjoy your work and that you continue to do great work. So I thank you so much for joining us today. And as many rewards. Thank you. Thanks thank so you, much. Thank you, Nanette. My pleasure. And thank you, our guests, for joining us. It's about money. I'm Nanette Nokan, and I'm grateful for my guests, Paul and Christine Nablo. All the best.